Good, Good morning. And welcome to Live with Lucky. Happy Wednesday, March 3rd. Great to see everybody this morning. It's Let's Wednesday. get started with our Pledge of Allegiance. Take it away, Miss Miller. All right, scholars, you are home today, so go ahead and stand, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to its republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Shamrock Pledge. We are the scholars of Shamrock Gardens. We are dedicated, committed, and focused. We prepare for greatness by doing our best every day. We cooperate with our classmates, teachers, and staff. We respect ourselves and all people. We know that hard work is the key to success. There are no limits to how far we can go. We dream big, believe, and achieve. We will graduate from high school and be college and career ready. We will succeed. We will succeed. Right, don't forget to sign up for the Shamrock Shuffle if you haven't already. Also, we got an update for the readathon. Looks like people are reading and people are earning money for our school, which is great. Woo! Today is Wednesday, so everyone's got their workout gear because it's time to work out with Whitaker. It's our favorite day. We really That's missed right. Miss Whitaker. We Miss did. Whitaker, Welcome back. For coming back, and we are excited. I haven't worked out in a month, so whew, can't wait. All right, I'm gonna share the sound. I'm gonna optimize for a video clip and here we go. All right. Hi everyone. Welcome to Workout with Whitaker. I have really missed you guys, missed making videos and working out our minds and bodies. And I have really enjoyed learning all that we learned about in Black History Month. And of course I have a favorite black athlete that I wanna teach you about, and that is Wilma Rudolph. All right, so in, in being inspired by Wilma Rudolph, let's start running. So you might, you might have guessed it right. That's right. Wilma Rudolph was a track star. She was an Olympic runner. She runs, ran, won several gold medals in track, and she was called the fastest woman alive for a while there. Uh, she is super inspiring because, all right, let's take it a little higher now. Let's pull her knees all the way up here. She is super inspiring because she had polio when she was little and she was in leg braces and the doctor told her she would never walk again. Well, not only did she learn how to walk again, but she learned how to run and she learned how to run fast. All right, so Wilma Rudolph style. Let's run it out. High knees, run. Whoa, so fast. There you go, there you go. Run it out, run it out. Great, great, great. All right, take a little break there. Okay, now let's do some skiers. Okay, so put your arm up, put your leg back. This is also a good cardio move. All right, Willa Rudolph was so inspiring. Yes, because she learned how to get past that her disabilities. We're not all gonna be Olympic track stars, but I think it's inspiring to think, hey, when something's got me down, what can I do to make it better? So she didn't let her illness, being a very, very, very sick child, she didn't let that get in her way. She was one of 22 children. Whoa! So she had a lot of brothers and sisters to help her out, but there was a lot of people in her family. And she didn't want to just be another brother and sister, she wanted to be special. So she was, and she worked hard. All right, let's do another sprint. Ready, I need sprint, go, 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 go. That's it, that's it. Sprint, sprint, sprint. All right, go, go, go. See if you can do 10 more seconds. Oh yeah, oh, I feel winded now. This is good. Woo! Three, two, one. All right. Great. Thanks for joining me with a little sprint workout. Tribute to Wilma Rudolph. Woo! 
That was vigorous. Oh, you know, vigorous. I'd be running too if I had 21 siblings. I well, bet that that was insane. Yes. Siblings, man. And I, wow, she's in the Olympics. She was an Olympian. I want to be an Olympian. Yeah. I think I still have time. Yeah, oh, she's an amazing totally. woman. Yeah. And you know, I'm impressed, speaking of amazing women, with Miss Whitaker for uh, giving us some, dropping some history knowledge while working out. Talk about oh, oh yeah. yeah. She's really upped her stamina these past few months, yes. Miss Paul's yeah. robe. She like yeah. talks the whole time. It's amazing. Well, speaking of women, what else do we have for today? Oh, yeah. yes. I'm so glad you asked. Um, we have a, uh, a highlighted woman for today. Let me go ahead and get that pulled up for us. Wait, could it be uh, that we still have time for a women a in a minute? minute? A minute for women. women. A yes. minute for women. It's time for a minute for women. A and minute today, for women. Today, the woman that we are going to be highlighting is him. Drum roll. Here we go. Her name is Dolores Huerta. Ah. She began her career as an elementary school teacher in California, but uh, what she noticed was a lot of the children she was teaching uh, were the children of farm workers, and they came to school and they didn't have a lot of money, and they didn't. A lot of times, they didn't even have their basic needs met. They didn't have enough food to eat. All that stuff. Um, and mm -hmm. so that inspired her to become a community organizer and an activist for farm workers' rights. So she worked with, um, have you ever heard of Cesar Chavez? Oh, I forgot yes. my timer. I am so sorry, everyone. Here, I'll oh, it's okay. You get a minute and 20 seconds for Dolores. Um, <laughs> because she has the same name as me uh, when I'm not myself. Um, so <laughs> she became a community organizer for farm workers' rights. Um, and she created with Cesar Chavez a union called the United Farm Workers Association. Um, and that was just a group of people who were farm workers who, who came mm -hmm. together to get better rights and pay for farm workers so that they could mm -hmm. make enough money to support their family. Mm -hmm. um, it's hard work. It is. It is. So they had to come together because, you know, you can achieve a lot more when you work together. Right. Um, and the union, one of the big things that she did was she organized a boycott of grapes. And I know, I think we might've talked about this during Black History Month, um, boycotts were something that they used during the civil rights movement as well. So they had the Montgomery boycott, which is where you mm -hmm. refused to buy the bus. Um, mm -hmm. And for the grape boycott, people refused to buy grapes until the farm workers were paid a living wage. So she was mm -hmm. a big part of that. So awesome. that's in fourth grade. Worker, an activist, and she is still alive today. She is 90 years old. That's a minute for women. Woo, a Woo! minute and 20 seconds for women. That's Thank right. goodness for well, farmers. I'm enjoying my grapes this morning. That's oh, right. Very well, very well. Well, we hope you guys have an awesome day of teaching and learning today. It is Wednesday. It's a synchronous day, not take a nap day. So get right. your work done. We'll see you tomorrow on Live, Live with Monday. Monday.